Welcome to you all in my class. Today we are going to learn about past tense. In this class, you will learn how to use simple past tense and past continuous tense. These are the most exciting and important tenses in our series of English verb tenses. Let's start with the question, what is past tense? The tense which is used to indicate an action, event or condition that has happened in the past. In general, the past tense is used to talk about something that started and finished at a definite time in the past. So, past tense is the tense which is used to describe an action that was occurred in the past. It has got its four types. They are the simple past tense, the past continuous tense, the past perfect tense and the past perfect continuous tense. Among them, today we will go through the simple past tense and past continuous tense. Simple past tense. The simple past tense is a tense which indicates or describes something that happened or existed in the past. So simple past specifically talks about something that happened and finished in the past. We can talk about an action or an event or a situation that started and ended in the past. Now let's look how do we form past simple tense. So, the first thing that you have to remember when you are working with the tense is that in English there are kinds of verbs, regular verbs and irregular verbs. How do we know? Well, it's kind of a little tricky but the regular verb add D, E, D or I, E, D to them. For example, live becomes lived, try becomes tried, was becomes washed. In the irregular verbs, that doesn't happen. Sometimes the verb change, changes little bit, sometimes it changes completely or sometimes it remains same. For example, verb go becomes went, it changed completely, see becomes show and re, say, cost remain same, they do not change. Now, it's time to learn about its structure, negative and question form. Here it is. Its structure or positive form is subject plus verb plus D, ED or IED plus object. For example, he completed his assignment. They cleaned their room. Sazen drew a picture of beautiful flower. Now, Let's look at what happens when we make a negative sentence. Here you have to use a helping verb did and add not after it and change verb 2 into verb 1. Here are some examples. He did not complete his assignment. They did not clean their room. Sazen did not draw a picture of beautiful flower. When you are asking yes no questions, put helping verb did at front. The structure is did plus subject plus verb plus object. For example, did he complete his assignment? Did he did they clean their room? Did Sajan draw a picture of beautiful flower? Remember, you need to keep question mark at the end of sentence. Now, let's talk about uses of simple past tense. We can use past simple tense in few different ways to talk about the past. First, we can use it to talk about completed action in the past. For example, I saw a ghost last Friday. We can also use simple past tense to report a series of completed actions in the past. Series means sequence of completed actions. For example, I finished work, walked to the beach and found a nice place to swim. In the same way, we can use it to express habits in the past, things that we did habitually in the past. For example, when I was young, I watched this serial. We often use 
the sentence with the expressions that refer to points of time in the past like last year, yesterday, few minutes ago, etc. For example, he completed his assignment at the end of last year. Now, we are in the next tense of past, that is past continuous tense. Okay, then what is past continuous tense? The tense which refers to the continuing action or state that was happening at point in the past. So, we are clear that past continuous tense talks about the actions which was continuing or occurring in the past. We form it by using verb to be in the past, they are was or will plus for ing form. For example, she was cleaning room, they were cooking food. Let's have a look to its structure, negative and question form. Structure is subject plus was where plus present participle form of verb that means verb ing plus object. For example, a dog was chasing a cat. They were helping their mother. She was cleaning her room. Let's take a look how we change positive sentence into negative. It's very easy that you just need to add not after was or where. Let me clear you with some examples. A dog was chasing a rat. They were not helping their mother. She was not cleaning her room. Similarly, how to form interrogative sentence in past continuous tense? Let's see yes no question. Yes no question is a question that can be answered with yes or no. Let's see example number one of affirmative sentence a dog was chasing a cat. So we will take helping verb was and move it to the front of the sentence and becomes was a dog chasing a cat. In the same way, were they helping their mother? Was she cleaning her room? And I have already told you, you should not forget to keep question mark at the end of sentence. Now, we are in the last topic of today, uses of past continuous tense. So, when and why do we use it? We use past continuous tense to describe a regular past action, means the actions which happens regularly. For example, John was always complaining about something or the other. Long, long ago in the jungle, animals were living together peacefully. Next, we use past continuous tense sometimes when one past action interrupts another. We use the past continuous tense for the action which was already happening and the simple past tense for the shorter interrupting action. That means it is also used to tell us more about when the action happened or other things that happen at the same time or perhaps something that interrupts the past continuous action and cause it to stop. For example, she was writing a letter when the phone rang. In this sentence, we have past continuous tense, she was writing a letter and simple past tense, the phone rang. This second sentence, when the phone rang, tells us what happened at the same time as she was writing a letter. Simple past tense cuts off or stops the past continuous tense writing a letter. Another example is here. When my mom called me, I was explaining about tense. Lastly, it is also used to express parallel action. Parallel action means happening two action at the same time. We can use, use two past continuous sentences to show that the actions were happening at the same time. For example, I was studying while he was making dinner. Here, 
two absents i was studying and he was making dinner were happening at the same time another example when ellen was reading tim was watching television here also two absents reading and watching television were happening at the same time and we use past continuous tense to express those types of parallel actions in this way we came to the end of our class i hope all of you have understood clearly you have some exercise this time i have given you two exercises i hope all of you will do it properly thank you